Welcome Taurus, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Soul Truth Self-Awareness card deck, it's a mouthful, hey, Oracle of the Seven Energies and of course I'll show you some tarot. Alrighty, let's get into it here. We're starting with Soul Truth. We want three cards here for Taurus. So this is going to give you something to be looking at and working on over the next couple of weeks. What's this first card here? How can I be more flexible right now? Not physically, although if that's what you're working on, you never know. I don't know what that one is yet. It's really weird, I've just suddenly gone really, really cold. I don't know if some of you have some angels around. Anyway, okay. Let's have a look at this first. So we've got, how can I be more flexible right now? What else could this mean? And what can I burn? Okay, we'll look into that. <laughs> just, just, just hold fire there. <laughs> like literally hold fire. Funny how that came out like that. Okay. So, how can I be more flexible, Taurus? This says, what are you trying to control? Maybe it's time to let go. Let love move through you today and trust the outcome will be for your highest good. So, the action, remind yourself all day, sorry, remind yourself all day long that you are safe. That life is happening for you and that you are not alone. Then do some yoga. So maybe it is physically, you know, but the yoga will help you release any stuck energy. Okay, any kind of movement will do. If yoga isn't your thing, any kind of movement will do. Okay, so what are you trying to control here? Interesting. Wow, that's such a cool card. Sacred Reverence. Oh, oh, I love this. A deep breath. Oh, wow. What is going on here, Taurus? Any one more card for this for Taurus? came out but something has flipped up here okay I'm taking that one interesting what is going on sacred reverence look at this beautiful card here wow this is like the key to the heart right Sacred reverence, and we have a deep breath. Take a deep breath here. Yeah, this really does remind me of like letting love move through you, right? Taking a deep breath and just kind of like oh, bracing yourself, I suppose. And then we have birds of a feather. Birds of a feather. I feel like this is calling on your people calling on those who are there for you who can support you who will stand with you oh Taurus okay so tell me more tell me more about all this for Taurus hmm. okay I'm going to go with this pick this card up here yeah something really huge has happened here for you right there's this um there's politics and there's this letting go here uh for some of you it's a little bit like being bitten by a snake um and It's sort of like someone's, well, not sort of like, 
this is not for all of you, but there's some of you where someone's done the dirty on you in a, quite a big way. And um, I just wonder if some of you have locked your heart. You've locked your heart and you've stored away the key. This could even be a past thing that's happened and it's time to let go of that now so that you can unlock your heart again. This is a possibility. Reminding yourself that you are safe and that you are not alone, right? That you have people around you who will take care of you and help you through or have done that for you, okay? Um, yeah, because there's been this this time, this period of sorrow that you could very well still be in, but there's been this armour that has been put up as well. Um, <clears throat> and maybe that's been done in protection, you know, so that as a protection type of thing, so that you feel like you can deal with the world and um, and actually be able to go back out into the world but you put this armor on which is making it quite heavy and quite difficult to get around and and maneuver your way through the world okay but without the armor it's kind of like you feel as though you're walking blindly in a sense and um and it's scary you know, it feels like you're on shaky ground. The thing here, Taurus, is that understand that your heart is precious. And so when you have that understanding and you take care of yourself, you won't give it to anyone who's going to use it for their own agenda. And I think that's what you're afraid of right now. I think you are actually afraid of that. But it's important for you here. This is the thing. I feel like there's a few steps that are missing. Okay, it's kind of like, oh, I've got to whip my armor off and then step out into the world. No, you take your time. You observe. You see what it is, how you want your world to look like. You work towards building that up. Step by step by step. Right? Moment to moment. You don't have to go from A to Z in a heartbeat. You do it step by step. Yeah? Nothing has to be rushed. And if there is anyone around you who is rushing you to do something and not having the patience to allow you to do what you need to do, then they're not for you, Taurus. And that could be the hard truth. That could be a hard truth to face. But it could be telling, you know? So, yeah. Okay, so the next card here. What else could this mean? Let's find out. There are always multiple ways to look at every situation. Our first reaction is usually rooted in our fears and limiting beliefs. Look at a situation today by stepping outside of the trigger and ask, what else could this mean? Brilliant. Oh, that is brilliant advice. I'm, I'm totally taking this advice myself. That's a really good advice. Is there something your soul is calling you to learn in this moment? Or is there a pattern that is ready to be broken? Walk the other person's, sorry, walk in the other person's shoes and see it from their perspective. If it doesn't involve someone else, ask yourself, how is life happening for me right now? That's so cool. I love that. Okay, let's look further into this. Okay, so tell me more about this. What else could this mean? It's a brilliant way of looking at things, right? What else could this mean? Where is that? That's over there. I can't even see what it says. It's too far away. Two more cards for what else could this mean? For Taurus, please. I love these cards. 
Okay. It makes me like excited to find out what can I burn. <laughs> I'd like to see the insights into that. It reminds me of a joke that um, is, is, you know, um, write a letter of, you know, how you feel about someone and, or write a letter about someone or something. So I'm totally going to butcher it now. I'm not even going to bother. What is it? I want to say it though. Put your feelings down on paper about how you feel about someone and then burn it. And then someone goes, okay, I did that. Now what do I do with the letter? But that wasn't how it went. I just totally, don't worry. I'm sure you've seen it. Anyway, okay, enough. I'm not a comedian for a reason. Okay, let me pick this card up. Okay, so we have feeling the world. Interesting. Wow, feeling the world. That's a beautiful card there. This is stepping outside though. This is looking at things from a different perspective, right? Stepping outside of your world and potentially into someone else's, yeah? Um, tell me more about this though. Tell me two cards about this feeling the world. Is there anything else that we need to know about this? Feeling the world, of course. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Looking at the possibilities, okay, rising above. Okay, seeing things from that different perspective. I want to say this. There's the suppression that's happening here. And this um, weight, which is not allowing you to rise up and see things from a different perspective. And this could be um, a different perspective for yourself of what could be, right? What could, what else could this mean? What else could it mean for you, you know? So in that regard, how could it be helping you? Rather than, why did this happen to me? Look at it like this, Taurus. Why would I allow this? Why would I allow someone to do this to me? What is it within me that would allow this to happen? It's a way of looking at it. Doesn't mean you have to look at it in exactly that way. But just as an example, you know, wish upon a star, Taurus. Wish upon a star. What is your heart's desire? What do you truly want for yourself? You know, because I bet it's not this, nor this. Right? Do you, do, is this you really want to be walking around with this suit of armor on, with this fighting going on? No, with this battle right see so look get creative get creative with your life how do you want that to look what do you want how you know if your life was a blank book or a, even a coloring in book with cool pictures in it how would you like to color that you know if it was a blank canvas what do you want that to look like imagine your life is a picture book right <clears throat> Or is a storybook? One more card for Wish Upon a Star for Taurus. That's opening up, <clears throat> opening up. I feel like this is about you opening up to let go. The things that have been held on to. Because maybe it's too painful to face. But this, I feel like, is about you needing to cut cords. Cut cords to the past and allow yourself to be set free. Okay, we've got the next card here is Great Big Love. Wow, there's something really massive here for you. Um, but there's, you've got to open yourself up to it. Tell me more about Great Big Love. And it's, it's divine. It's actually a divine, part of the divine plan here, Taurus. Yeah, experiencing. Look at this new beginning here. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is a new beginning of abundance. This is allowing your, yourself to open up to experience what is there for you, Taurus. Because it's, it's you know, the armor is not going to help you step into this beautiful, beautiful life that you dream of, that you would like, that you wish, that you wish you could have. So it's time to allow it to come. Okay, so in that regard, what can I burn? What no longer serves you here? 
Okay, so let's have a look at this. Okay, burn it, burn it all. The ugly lies, the pain. the shame, the criticism, the images that run through your head, the reminders of what you did wrong and the pr proof that you are not enough. Burn, baby, burn. Your soul is calling. It is time for a rebirth. You are like the phoenix rising from the ashes, no longer attached to the past. You are free. Your wings are ready. Use them. Look at these wings here. Your wings are ready, Taurus. Use them, right? This is really cool, Taurus. I love this for you. Okay, so, so the action you need to take is make the choice that you will no longer let the past define you. Pick up your pen. What will your next chapter look like 100 percent, yes and that's exactly what i was saying before what will your next chapter look like what will it read like what will it sound like what will it feel like tell me more about this the storyteller look at this look at this right i can't make this up the storyteller, this is the beginning of your next chapter here. This is the key. Taurus, look at this. How do you want that to, to be told? Oh, that is giving me goosebumps. Wow. This is the story of your next chapter. Oh, wow, this is so cool. Two more cards? Or do we need two more cards? I don't think we do. No, we're not meant to have them. Okay, right, let's go into this further. Do we need to? Who knows? I don't like how that came out. Okay, tell me more about this. I want to read this again. I actually, let me get these cards out. I'm going to read that last one again. Okay. okay, those two there, that one, this one, okay, so what are these ones, awareness, awareness, yeah, this is letting yourself out, letting yourself out of the shadows of that darkness that you've been in, and it's sort of like peeking through and going, Finally made it. I can finally come out. I can breathe now, right? Allow yourself to blossom. Okay. This is you creating this life for yourself here, Taurus. And growing it into whatever you want it to be. Because that's what's there for the taking for you, right? So use it. Use it to your advantage. The only thing that restricts you is in here. And you may say, mm, but I haven't got enough money. Mm but I haven't got this, hmm, but I haven't got that. Believe that you do. Like, actually recreate it. Look at ways that you can make that happen for yourself. Look at ways that you can change that because you can write whatever you want to write. It is up to you, okay? Yeah. I want to say here, this, if things feel too intense, just take your time. Take it step by step, okay? Like this card here, moment to moment. Always come back to that, right? And um, and the other thing I, I feel like I really want to say to you, Taurus, is remember to breathe, okay? Sometimes in those moments where it feels very intense, just sit there and go, right now, in this second, all I have to do is breathe. And take a really deep breath in through your nose, and out through your nose 
okay and do that breathe in for five seconds and out for eight that's going to help lower your cortisol levels okay and focus on your heart put your hand on your heart and focus on your heart and think of something you're grateful for in that moment even if it's just the air that you breathe even if it's just the fact you caught yourself in that moment and you allowed yourself to calm be grateful for that okay and come back and listen to this Taurus because you're going to need reminding over and over again because you can listen to it now and then in a few days time everything feels all intense and muddled again so come back and listen as a reminder to do what you need to do okay for yourself yeah we have a breakthrough here we have a breakthrough. This is the last card of this reading. And this is what is here for you. A breakthrough into this new chapter of your life. Which is created by you. So put pen to the paper. Okay. And do what you need to do. Because it is up to you. Okay Taurus. Um, I was going to read this again wasn't I? Yep. Burn it. Burn it all. The ugly lies, the pain, the shame, the criticism, the images that run through your head, the reminders of what you did wrong, and the proof that you are not enough. Burn, baby, burn. Your soul is calling. It is time for a rebirth. You are like the phoenix rising from the ashes, no longer attached to the past. You are free. Your wings are ready. Use them. Yes. Taurus, yes. Okay. I'm going to leave that with you, Taurus. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.